polka dotted. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm Teacher Tom. Hi, I'm Stacy. And today, Pearson has sponsored a video, and we are going to be using this fantastic book called Startup. Today, we're going to talk about Unit 7 in the book, and we're talking about clothing. Let's look at page 78 in Unit 7. I want you to listen and repeat. Zip up. Take off. Put on. Tie. Button. Now, why don't you do it? You say it and I'll repeat it. Okay. Zip up. Zip up. Take off. Take off. Put on. Put on. Tie. Tie. Button. Button. Now, do I have any clothes where I can demonstrate some of these? Wow. Okay, so now I have a jacket and this jacket has a zipper. I can zip up my jacket or I can unzip my jacket, right? Zip up, unzip. Okay, Stacy, can you help? What's this? Take off. Yes, I'm going to take off my jacket. Oh. Ooh, it's a little cold in here. What do you think? Are you a little cold? Yeah, it's a little cold in here. I have an idea. Why don't you put on this jacket? Oh, I will put on the jacket. It's very loose. Okay, so we did zip up, take off, put on, tie, and what's this? That would be button. Button. Button your shirt. Or sometimes we say button up. Button up your shirt. Button up your coat. Stacy, that's a nice outfit. Thank you. Did you bring anything else to wear? I did. Wow! That's a great outfit. Thanks, Tom. What color is your shirt? My shirt is orange. And what color is your hoodie? It is blue. All right, just for a minute, could you please take off the hoodie? Yes, I will. I will take off my hoodie. Ta-da! Stacy, please put on your hoodie. I have a question. Does it zip up? Yes, it zips up. Whoop. <laughs> so her hoodie, or her hooded sweatshirt, zips up. Now, Stacy, what color is your hoodie? My hoodie is blue. It's blue. It's solid blue. And it has white and orange stripes. What about what I'm wearing? What do we call this? We call that plaid. Plaid. <laughs> I am wearing a brown plaid shirt that buttons up. What are you wearing? I am wearing a blue hoodie with white and orange stripes. And what does it do? It zips up and down. Very good. Stacy, do you have any other outfits? I do, Tom. Wow, that looks really nice. Thank you. And you're wearing a checkered shirt. Yes, with buttons. All right, let's talk about some adjectives to describe clothing. Listen and repeat. Listen and repeat. Tight. Tight. Loose. 
loose, long sleeved. My shirt is long sleeved, short sleeved, short sleeved, sleeveless, sleeveless, no sleeves for you, <laughs> floral, floral. Striped. Striped. Plaid. Plaid. Polka dotted. Polka dotted. Solid blue. Solid blue. Thank you, Stacy. Teacher Tom. Let's continue in Unit 7, page 78. Let's look at part B. It says, write short answers to the questions. Hmm, let me give you a minute if you have the book and you can look at the questions and write your answers. If you don't have the book, that's okay too. I'm going to work with my friend Stacy and practice, okay? Stacy, did you zip up a clothing item this morning? I did zip up a clothing item this morning. I zipped up my hoodie. Tom. Yes? <laughs> what clothing item do you take off first when you get home? Hmm. I take off my shoes first when I get home. Your left shoe or your right shoe? Probably my right shoe, then my left shoe. That's which one I do too. A chew. <laughs> Stacy, is anyone in your class wearing some floral, striped, or plaid? Yes, Teacher Tom. You are wearing plaid. Wow. <laughs> Do you prefer wearing tight clothing or loose clothing? Hmm, usually I prefer wearing loose clothing. What about you? This isn't about me, Tom. <laughs> okay, last one, number five. Do you prefer wearing long-sleeved or short-sleeved or sleeveless shirts? Ooh. I do prefer wearing short-sleeved shirts to show off my muscles. Wow, very nice muscles. Thank you. All right, how are you doing? Let's look at part two. Grammar. Okay, so relative clauses with B plus the verb plus ing can be shortened by deleting who or that and the verb be. So let's practice a little. I will give you the full version and Stacy will give you the reduced version. All right? I see a guy who is tying his shoe over there. I see a guy tying his shoe over there. Oh, do you see how it reduces? Let's try another one. Do you know the woman that is talking to Maria? Do you know the woman talking to Maria? Oh, very good. The people who are standing in the back look bored. The people standing in the back look bored. Good. Okay, one more. He bumped into a woman who was holding a glass. He bumped into a woman holding a glass. Wow, very good. Okay, I really recommend you get this book, the Startup Series. This is level five. If you want to continue in unit seven, talking about clothing, there are so many more exercises you can do. Continuing on page 79, there is pronunciation and conversation practice. Okay, if you download the app, you can access all kinds of audio and video for listening and speaking practice. You can do it by yourself or with a partner. All right? Pearson has done an excellent job in providing us resources for learning English. 
one of the best resources they have is My English Lab. 